one life-altering brain fact. And you know what that is? That most people would rather be right than successful. Now, what does that mean? Well, I shared before about how I went and had the whole family over and we were trying to pick a movie. And by the time I nixed all of theirs, we got to watch mine. I was watching it alone while the rest of them were enjoying theirs. Now, why did that occur? Because I had to be right. And you know that I have found that people who have to be right ends up, they become righteous. And that simply means that they have to get their way or, and you can name whatever that or is, but it's not going to be pleasant. How do we turn that around? How do we make sure that our brain, this phenomenal mechanism that continues to get to things in life that we think about, not what we want, how do we shift from having to be right to being happy? to being successful, to allowing people the opportunity to be able to have opinions that differ from ours. And what I have found in my experience, because I was the king of being right, you know, and I didn't really know I was even doing it. I thought that's what everybody was doing. What really changed my mind is when being right cost me a relationship when being right cost me a job. And you know what? I didn't even recognize it that way either because I realized, well, I didn't want that job anyway. Or that leader wasn't much of a leader anyway. And that relationship wasn't worth staying in anyway. Do you know, when you and I recognize that there's a common denominator and why things go right for us and why things go wrong, all we have to do is look for why that's occurring and we'll look right at ourselves. And when you realize that you're the reason why life is unfolding as it is for you, that's where true empowerment comes from. That's where peak performance lies. That's where showing up with an empowered presence takes place. And it's no longer about being right. It's about creating an environment where other people can be successful, where you can find yourself looking for opportunities to assist others in getting what they want. And when that begins to occur for you, you'll be amazed at what starts to happen in your own life. Tough lesson for me to learn, but once I did and continued to practice it, because anything worthwhile is worth sustaining and just don't kick back and say, oh, I got it down now, because another belief that was planted in your brain a long time ago will come up and it'll fight to be right. So, what have you had to be right about lately? What have, where have you lifted the hearts and souls of others around you? I look forward to hearing from you and having the opportunity to be able to grow together in this once in a lifetime thing that we all are experiencing now. And that's redefining our lives so that we can be more in alignment with what we're intended to be when we came into this thing called life instead of what we've become as a result of the experiences we've had in life. Have a great life and I look forward to our next time together.